A snowball is melting so that its radius is decreasing at a rate of 3 inches per hour. How fast is the volume decreasing at the moment the radius is 4 inches? Let's go ahead and work this out. So first, let's write down the formula for the volume of a sphere. So that's V equals 4 thirds pi r cubed. That's the formula for the volume of our snowball. Now let's go ahead and write down what we're given in the problem as well as what we need. So we're told that the snowball is melting so that its radius is decreasing at a rate of 3 inches per hour. So if r denotes the radius, the rate of change of the radius is the derivative with respect to time. And we're told it's decreasing, so that means this should be negative. So instead of 3, we'll have negative 3. And that's because the radius is decreasing, which makes sense. The snowball is melting. We want to know how fast the volume is decreasing. So we need the rate of change of the volume with respect to time. At the moment, the radius is 4 inches. So at the very moment in time when the radius is 4 inches. So now we have what we're given and what we need, and we have the formula. So we'll take the derivative of both sides of this equation with respect to time. On the left-hand side, we just get dv dt. On the right-hand side, keep in mind that the 4 thirds and the pi, that's constant. So you just bring the 3 down. So you get 3 4 thirds pi r squared times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule, so dr dt. r is a function of time, so when we use the power rule, we do have to use the chain rule here. We have to multiply by the derivative of the inside function. The inside function here, the inside function is r. The threes cancel, so we have dv dt, and that's equal to 4 pi r squared, dr dt. We know dr dt, dr dt is negative 3, so this is 4 pi r squared times negative 3, and negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, so negative 12 pi r squared. So dv dt, the rate of change of the volume with respect to time, is equal to negative 12 pi r squared. We want dv dt when r is equal to 4, so to finish, dv dt, when r is equal to 4, is equal to negative 12 pi, and then r is 4, so we get 4 squared. So negative 12 pi times 16. 16 times 12 is negative 192. So we end up with negative 192 pi, and the units were inches, and this is volume, so this is inches cubed per hour. So that is the final answer. You could express your answer verbally. You could say that the volume is decreasing at a rate of 192 pi inches cubed per hour. Notice here in the interpretation, I didn't include a negative sign. Why? Because I already used the word decreasing. I hope this helps.